In addition to the various income sources from which withholding might be taken, two other specific ways exist for the taxpayer to limit his end-of-year tax liability. One is making estimated tax payments during the year, and the other is to apply tax overpayments from the previous year. Let's discuss estimated tax payments first. How does the estimated tax payment system work, and what is it all about? If a client owes more than $1,000 in taxes after subtracting withholdings and credits, then the taxpayer should make estimated payments. Estimated tax payments are made quarterly and are based on 25% of what the taxpayer's projected tax liability will be for the year. Their incentive for making estimated tax payments is to avoid penalties that could occur if they owe in excess of $1,000 on their next tax return. As tax preparers, we need to assist clients in determining their tax liability for the current and next year. Estimated taxes are paid most typically by self-employed taxpayers. However, self-employment is not the only reason a taxpayer might need to pay estimated taxes. They may also be required if a client receives other sources of income without withholding, such as interest, dividends, alimony, rental income, gains from the sale of assets, and prizes and awards. To keep self-employed taxpayers compliant with the estimated payment requirements, the failure to pay penalty may be imposed. If a taxpayer does not pay enough, either through withholding or estimated payments, by the due date of each quarterly payment period, the underpayment penalty may be assessed, even if the taxpayer is due a refund when he files his tax return. If the taxpayer is subject to making estimated payments, the due dates are April 15th, June 15th, September 15th, and January 15th of the following year. The April 15th deadline is also the deadline for filing a tax return. If taxpayers have a balance due on the applicable tax return and are subject to estimated tax payments, then it is important that you, as a tax professional, educate them about the requirement to make two payments on the same date, one for the tax return balance due and the other for next year's first estimated tax payment. As a general rule, a taxpayer does not have to pay estimated taxes if he did not have a tax liability in the previous tax year. He was a U.S. citizen or resident for the entire year, and his prior tax year covered a full 12-month period. Let's discuss the second option for prepaying taxes. A taxpayer who has an overpayment of taxes and is entitled to a refund in the current year may choose instead to carry that overpayment forward to the next tax year as a prepayment of his estimated taxes for the next taxable year. However, once a taxpayer elects to apply all or part of an overpayment to the following year's tax liability, he cannot change his mind and receive a refund after the due date of his current return. For that reason, the overwhelming majority of taxpayers want the refund sent to them now rather than applying it to next year. The amount of taxes carried over from the previous year should be included in the amount of estimated tax payments made and reported on Form 1040 for the taxable year we are discussing.